Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I have something to take care of, but I'm back with my story. So I was to be continued, so as I shall continue on. So, like I was saying, um, the dinner is and the service was like, yeah! So after that, um, because I'm going to be in another video for the Fill and Need Foundation. And go ahead again if you haven't done so already and check them out on Facebook, Fill and Need Foundation. So facebook.com slash fill and need. Or you can go to the website fillandneedfoundation.org. Um, and basically, I don't know much detail of this video. All I know is they need a video footage of me looking happy. You know what I'm saying? Happy and um, silent. Like, I'm not talking or anything. I'm just looking like beautiful. Like, hey. So, um, but yeah, it has to be filmed kind of close up to my face. Um, we sent a lot, or the one that I like, but I have my my best friend Ashley in it and they're like no they just wanted me so we sent all the ones we have like like me and Lily or me and Becky and we didn't get any like yay we got one yet so we took a few yesterday night um after dinner around the boardwalk area and uh, who knows and then my daddy was not feeling so good so we came back and it was quite a funny experience story which I'm going to have my mother share with you because then she'll be laughing hysterically when she says it, which makes it all the more funny. So, um, this is a side note. We're kind of going a little tangent here. I got an email from Sephora. See that guy? That's Mark Jacobs. And this says, meet Mark Jacobs, September 3rd in Soho, so in New York. So attend an exclusive party where you and your guests will take a photo with the designer, receive a lookbook that's autographed, and you can take home um, a Lust for Liqueur lip vinyl with any $100 Marc Jacobs beauty purchase. Limited edition to 50 VIBs. I'm a VIB now. Um, so RSVP, y'all. But I saw something, but did, I think I just deleted the email, oh no. I saw these like pencil, no, uh, brushes, pencil brushes, no, those do not exist now, like these brushes and I fell in love with them and I'm like, is there really such thing as too much makeup brushes? I don't think so. But some may disagree. So anyway, um, so here's the, I did not know, I knew this, I'm gonna look daddy. But instead, we just looked at the directory and we found our way. But anyway, um, oh, I know. Be right. I don't think so. Whatever. Okay, <laughs> moving right along. So, um, you want to know about pizza delivery menu? We got stuff. <laughs> the last night, then, um, we just came back in the room and hung out and. They had to get their worky stuff together because they had two meetings today. One they already had this morning with Disney, and then there's another one that's out that they're at now. And they have a meeting tomorrow. My parents got meetings. Um, I don't know what I was gonna say. So here's obviously you know it's Disney. What you gonna do? You gonna have fun? So here's obviously. All the different um, themed parks. Or theme parks. Or are they themed parks? And somewhere in here. Maybe towards the back. Or in the middle. Well, this thing's in the way. Not that I'm out, I So here's Downtown Disney. Y'all know, some of y'all probably know the Downtown Disney. Lovely, lovely. Well, I got the skivvies. I got the secret 911 on Downtown Disney. 
um, coming soon. Cause the resort told us last time that they're like right now from we're really like right behind downtown Disney. So you can either hoof it, which I think is like 30 minutes, cause like a windy trail. And if it's real hot, who who's gonna want to do that? Or you can take the little ferry boat across the body of water that they have there. Or you could drive, which we've been doing, cause that boat look a rocking, and I don't gonna do that. But I don't. I floating vessels, no, thank you. So, um, but for whatever reason, downtown Disney is extremely popular, and it gets cray cray at night, and the parking is horrendous. So they did tell us last time that the resort is going to be building a foot bridge right over. I'm assuming the body of water, kind of like you see that bridge right here this kind of is a bridge that gets you from one side of the resort to another it's kind of I'm assuming be like that except takes you to over to downtown Disney so as I was saying downtown Disney is no longer going to be downtown Disney right now some of the parking lots are closed because they're building a two car parking garage so more parking hallelujah hallelujah um it's going to have a new name uh pleasure island I read if this is correct, which I don't know, but I think I read somewhere that it kind of closed down in 2008. Um, when you walk through there, hardly any clubs or anything is open. Maybe like a cigar bar, maybe one little club or like a restaurant. A lot of it is walled off uh, for construction. And, but like, what's really popular is, um... The marketplace over here and then the west side where the Lanuba and the House of Blues is and my new favorite place, the bowling alley, which is Splitville Luxury Lanes. Opening or oh, they opened late 2012. Discover the two levels of 30 luxury bowling lanes, live music and billiards. Dine indoors or on the Blitzville outdoor patio dining area while enjoying fresh rolled sushi, steak, chimchur, I don't know how to say that, and traditional favorites like burgers and hand tossed pizzas. There's such match, there's so much to see and do, and you can rock and roll it out without even picking up a ball. <laughs> So there's the skivvy on that. And you actually saw the video of Paul and I bowling if you watched my video with Paul. We bowled. We were upstairs so it's dark because upstairs at night it's like the glow and the dark bowling. It had a fancier name than that. Downstairs is like regular. And what is so groovy about this place, the bowling alley, is you can have bumpers. But let's say only one person wanted a bumper, then whenever it was their turn to bowl, the bumpers would go up, and then when they were done, the bumpers go down, so the next person wouldn't have to have the bumpers. And that nifty? That's nifty, right? Because there's always controversy at home. Bumpers or no bumpers? Jesse's good. He doesn't need the bumpers. Some of us need, like, the bumpers, and they don't want... And then it's like, are we the boys versus girls, and the girls have the bumpers, and the boys don't, and then if we win, it's because we had the bumpers, so we cheated. So here, they make it an even playing field. So, like I said, um, this is going to be like a new, like, fancy, smangled, like, downtown shopping area. Like, the Apple Store is going in there and all these other fancinesses that the young man who's from New York who works for DVC um, didn't tell us. But he basically is like Apple and all these other, like, high-end stuff and it's going to become high-end and Pleasure Island will be gone. Um... I remember, I remember when my brother worked, worked there, <laughs> when it, back when it was kind of hopping and a bopping, um, so, there's going to be a footbridge, and, there's a balloon ride, did you know that? It's a little scary. It's scary. If you don't like heights, when you look up at that thing, you're like, oh dear lord, and it sways. Oh my god. No. Um, so, what else can I tell ya? 
Well, that's basically my story for this. Um, today it's actually hot out because I got, I walked over to go have lunch with my parents while they were still here before they jet off to the next business meeting and it was hot. See where we are. Okay, leg like again. Referring back to my lovely map. The key of a person swimming, I mean, there's a swimming pool. So this is obviously the main, the main pool here. Then our hidden Mickey Villa complex, that is our swimming pool. So each villa complex has a pool. Anyone can use the main one, and this is also a part of the Springs pool as well, I believe. Um, so we have what is called the leisure pool, and each resort has like a quiet pool where it's not like their main hustle and bustle full of like screaming kids, it's more relaxed, and it's quite nice. Um, obviously, excuse me, we walk by it, and um, and, and it's like, today would be the perfect day just to chill out on a lounge chair or just play around in the water. And what I love about the pools over here is, I don't know, I think, was it, is it like zero gravity? I don't, that sounds wrong. I don't know the name, but there is a name. It's like a, it, the pool starts at zero, zero feet. So basically, and you can just like walk in, like there's no stairs, and then it goes like maybe like three feet or like five. But... You could basically, if you wanted to, just pop your butt and just sit and chill and tan in the water. I love it. I heard that concept. Because I have that concept over the Polynesian. And then, like, Polynesian pool, the one spot, it has, like, a hot tub in the pool. Or at least something that's going, woo! So, that looks really fun. Um, but I was walking over to the um, artist palette and... The um, the carousel. I'm um, on the main building, and um, I cannot believe people stay in these things, these tree houses. Really? Maybe later I can go and film them for you. I'll take a little walk, film it for you. How does that sound? <laughs> um, no, but anyway, moving along quickly. Um, also, it's hot out. I'm walking, it's hot out. Then, from a distance, what looked like a tree branch, right? I'm like, just step over that. I'm walking in closer. I hear a dude's like, careful, like, watch out, like, not to trip. It's a hose. A big, like, hose. And then I'm walking around the pool. And guess what it says? They got signs everywhere that says, like, we are refurbishing the pool for further enjoyment or something like that. I'm like, what? Map the pool? It, it closed? So we think it was, like, a freak accident. Because normally, you know, they warn you when you're checking in. There's a scheduled date and da-da-da-da. You might get a notice under your door. That you, you normally get a heads up around here as I'm getting it. And we did not have one of those. So this was a shock to my mother and I. Because when she came back, you know, she was thinking, oh, we could all, like, chill out by the pool. But that's not going to happen. And although she and I have a park pass, and my daddy don't. My daddy does not have a park pass. And he could probably purchase one if he wanted to. Um, I don't know. Because my mom's under the impression that when they get back, my dad will just be continue working. And I don't feel like surprisingly it's supposed to be dead around this time, but of the year. But it's like jam packing. But around the resorts, it's kind of quiet. So I'm assuming everyone's in the parks and when it's hot. And and when you're in a park, you're just walking on pavement and 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 it's black. And black is uh, also not only is it a heat. Um, absorber, it's a heat emitter. So not only does like absorb heat. And emits heat. So when you that's so when you're walking on it, it makes you feel extra hot than you than you already are, and then it already is, because all the heat is bouncing back off of the pavement. So note to self, if you have like soup, right, or something and you want to keep it warm, like let's say you're making it in the morning and you're putting in some type of a thermos 
thermal feature device because you're going to have for lunch. Put it in something black. It will keep the soup warmer for longer because the black is a, is an emitter and an absorber of the heat. That's my little science fact of the day. So, obviously, not hanging out my, my pool. And I'm not a huge fan of the other pool because it's crowded and people are running around. I don't want to. So, I am going to um, finish some of my business I got to do myself around here. Um, then I'm probably going to just take like, a relaxing shower because I'm a little grungy. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little grungy. And get spiffed up, and then when my mama gets back, we're gonna go drive over to one of the Magic Kingdom resorts. And I wanna do some photos and ride the monorail around those resorts. Maybe check, see if we can check out the new villas over at the Grand Floritian. If I wanted to, I can go to the spa. I mean, I know they prefer at least a minimum of 24 hours notice. Um, for an appointment, but they do, I think, can take walk-ins, and I'm sure they could for, like, a mani-pedi. Um, so if I wanted to, I could toddle on over to the spa and be like, can I get my nails did? But, I don't know, I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> so, um, I get tired again, oh boy. Let's just take a shower and then take a nap, or take a nap and then a shower. No, you just shower first. So this way you're all like cleaned up and ready to go. My parents get home, I'm all cleaned up and ready to go. Um, Cause what if, you, what if I took a nap and I like slept like for a long time and then it's like crap, I gotta rush to shower and get like ready and that's just not gonna work out. But it's funny, what I found funny is here's my like butterfly rigmarole. And it still looks pretty good, but my Talia one is starting to fade, and I definitely want it touched up. I'd love to go to Epcot and have someone, like, redo it. <laughs> but this one, because at home I've been wearing, like, short sleeves, so the thing's covered and protected, but yet this one's fading faster than my butterfly. So, but it's cool, so. No, but last night... Cause I had a really like a second dinner because I didn't like my first dinner. So my usual, well, I gotta get those photos from my mama's phone on my phone. Um, crew, they were at the restaurant working and it's funny. <laughs> like I said, I was here last weekend. So I get in line, I go to the register and they're all smiling at me. Like not just like service with a smile, but like I think I know her smile, a little extra something in that smile. So before I open my mouth, the girl next to the guy, I don't know their names, but the girl next to the guy, she's like, gluten allergy, gluten allergy, gluten allergy, and I'm assuming for safety reasons or whatever liability, uh, whatever they have to hear from me. So I was like, yes, gluten allergy. So, um, so with that, they call the chef, the chef comes over, he, well actually, did I say this? The girl said, you've been here for ages or eons or something like that. So then the chef comes over and we both speak at the exact same moment. I'm like, chicken fingers. And at the same time, it's like macaroni and cheese. I'm like, sure, why not? And I'm like, oh, you twisted her arm. So he's like, they know my usual. They know, they know, they know my usual. So um, they were just like all happy and excited to see me. I was like, going to fight. It's like, I hurt again. Ah. So then, like I said the other night for dinner, no lunch, my bad lunch, I had the cheese slop bread. So today, the chef comes, I'm like, cheese slop bread. He's like, oh, the same as yesterday? I'm like, yes. So they're going to really know me. Because <laughs> um, I'm like a creature of habit and I just eat the same things. But, um, so when I go later for something, <laughs> <they're> funny, <laughs> but anyway, um, that was neato because I got photos with them, but I can't show you this on my mama's phone, so, oh man, our trip, our trip down here may or may not be extended, I kind of hope it does, I kind of want to stay down 
the Florida longer and continue on to Naples, but that may or may not happen because, which after today, I highly doubt it because the computer really isn't working so good at home and Suzanne surprisingly is slumped with muffin orders and normally muffins, Mally's Marvelous Muffins, it's like they're dead season like we in the summertime, that's when it's the slowest and it's the deadest and usually around this time we can like escape and close and it not matter. But for some reason, things are picking up and it's really, really busy. I mean, and it's good. I ain't complaining, honey. It's good. But it's just, um, oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's like my mom's probably going to want to head back and like get all this stuff taken care of if it doesn't get fixed within the next day or two. So, um, but my dad and I, depending, really want to stay on. Oh, he really, really, like, wants to stay on. I guess if he gets all his work done, then he's all gung-ho and for it. But otherwise, then we just go home Wednesday. Yeah. Ooh, speaking of which, I gotta make up a list of stuff to do with my friend. I got stuff I gotta do too. As I'm telling you people about other people's stuff, what's coming to my mind is things I gotta take care of. So maybe I'll make a little list so I don't forget. I don't know, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let you go. And definitely gonna be doing some more filming later. So get ready and get excited. And thanks so much for watching this video. It's always a pleasure making them for you guys and I really enjoy it when you enjoy watching them. Um, and there's going to be new, there's going to be um, weird noises. <laughs> what was that? Hello. Um, so there's going to be things coming. It's going to be great. Thanks. Keep it quirky.